Mac! Captain! Someone's climbed out behind the sign. Boys and girls, here we go. Everybody stay where you are. This is a robbery. Cooperate and it will be over in five minutes. Now. This is insane. Excuse me, excuse me, how badly do you want to be employee of the month? Very prudent. I doubt you're being paid enough to risk your own life. How do you inspire such loyalty and teamwork from your employees? Everyone on my staff, do as you're told. No heroics. I appreciate your support. You can take anything you want. And I intend to. Starting with cell phones, PDAs, and pagers, please. The patient experienced a sudden debilitating headache. And blurred vision. I just need something for the pain. I have an important business meeting tomorrow. You can forget the business meeting. All right, that's not an option. Look, I picked out at least a dozen bullet fragments out of your brain. Look, you have your work to do, and I have mine. And I cannot delay this meeting. If you don't let us run some tests and figure out what's going on, it's quite possible you will not see tomorrow morning. I'm having a lot of trouble. Adjusting to being without you again. But I'll manage, don't worry. There's still a lot of bite left in this old dog. I might even learn a new trick or two. I'm sure as hell not ready to roll over and play dead. 
I've been thinking a lot about what I'm going to do with the next 25 or 30 years. Maybe I'll swim the English Channel or climb Mount Everest. Or maybe I'll just run away with the circus. My whole life's pretty much been a tightrope walk anyway. I miss you. I guess I always will. But that's no reason not to get on with the rest of my life, is it, sweetheart? Well, it's good to see you, Dad. You got a second? Uh, yeah, is everything all right? Well, actually, I'm supposed to be at a big fundraiser at the Metro Court tonight, but my daughter comes first. Carly is tearing herself up over Sonny and Jackson. I am really worried about her. She really loves Jax. But he isn't here, and Sonny is, and Sonny has this pull on her like gravity. Actually, I'm taking Carly to the Dominican Republic tonight so she can get the divorce. Yeah, but the divorce is just a technicality at this point. Sonny knows what buttons to push, and she is feeling so vulnerable. I know, Bobby, but Carly does whatever she wants, and once she makes up her mind, no one's going to change it. You know that. You can. And I'm hoping that you can change Sonny's mind, too. Jason, please, just talk to him. I, I, Will you just get him to back off and let Carly be happy I, with Jax? I have tried, okay? I can't tell people what choices to make, just like I can't tell them who to love. What is wrong with you? Don't you understand you're putting all of us in danger, including Lucky's baby? And you seem so demure and quiet. You're a pleasant surprise, but you're going to be trouble. Just rob us and get it over with. I apologize for the inconvenience, darling. Excuse me. Oh, oh what have we here? Lovely. Excuse me. Thank you. Suppose of this, please. Thank you. Uh, and fun girls. You know that guy? His voice sounds so familiar. You don't look like no priest I ever seen. What are you thinking? This is not a robbery. These guys are after something. So, you okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Baby's good. Elizabeth's baby? Yeah, it turns out that Maxie wasn't really pregnant. But, you know, I don't want to go there. <laughs> you shouldn't have gone there in the first place. Oh, where did you go? Uh, I've been around, you know. Mm -hmm. I drove down to the Keys and... Chartered a boat, did some diving. Mm. Still a lot of treasure out in those waters, you know. Yeah. Of course, I didn't find any. <laughs> and then I went back to Europe, bummed around a bit. Seems like one place is like another. Doesn't seem to matter how far or fast I go. I never seem to get where I'm headed. Yeah, I miss her too. She was so happy that last night. With you kids looking through all the old family photos. Remember how she laughed when she found out you were a cop? <laughs> <laughs> well, you and Lulu. And Nicholas, too, I guess. You kids. You mean everything to her. Have you ever been involved with two women at the same time? Okay, I'll take that as a yes. I'm sorry, Bobby. I need to get going. I need to see if Carly's at the hotel. Oh, Carly is all over the map, which gets her in trouble, especially with Sonny. She's planning to divorce him. I'm going to help. That's pretty much all I can do at this point, you know? Okay, you're right. And I know that I can't tell my daughter who to love, but I can, we can, remind her of what life was really like with Sonny. Uh, you know, sometimes it helps, but sometimes it, it makes her even more stubborn. Jax is so good for Carly. Jax hasn't even spoken with her in person since he left. It's all been voicemail. Which is exactly why she's going to start acting out, because she's feeling very insecure right now. You, you're probably right, but you know what? It, it's Carly's life. Jason, I know that. 
but we can remind her of who makes her the happiest. We can remind her of who respects this new life that she's worked so hard to build for herself and who really has her best interests at heart. And then I guess we just have to pray that she chooses the right person to be with. Boyfriend gave me this necklace. Please listen to me, Miss McCollum. They can take the necklace, but not its meaning. You have to calm down. Look, if you don't get away from me, I'm going to ask if they can kill you. Violence begets violence. That works for me. In the rings. The other one, too. No. Do it, Carly. Jax gave me that ring, and I'm going to be wearing it. Give him the ring. Home. No. Give him no. the ring. Is there a problem? Yes. You can have my credit cards. You can have my cash. You can have anything you want in this hotel, but you're not getting my ring. Well, you see, if I allow you to keep the ring, what about the other people? It would be unfair, wouldn't it? This is my engagement ring. You have to understand. <sighs> I'm afraid I must insist. Fine. Thank you. Did you recognize his voice? I didn't have enough time. You got rid of him so fast. Okay, from now on, no more tricks. What the hell's going on here? This is a, This is about Alcazar. How is it about Alcazar? He's working for a government agency. He was waiting for a shipment. Of what? I don't know, but he was willing to kill me to make sure it got through. Did you see him? Around the hotel? He was asking about the security in the vault. Seriously, you took everything I have. What else do you want? Stop filling me up! The hotel phones are all turned off. But you get the lobby phones, just in case. It's all set. Good. Bye. You and three clean out the vault. Take us hostage with you. work against my advice. Now you're presenting symptoms of a brain bleed. I'm sure I can hold out till tomorrow. Right, because you're the expert. I'm just the brain surgeon that saved your life. Well, don't let me stand in your way, Mr. Alcazar. You're obviously a little too arrogant to listen to any doctor's advice. You know what? I'm already feeling better. Pain's going away. My vision's clearing up. I don't believe you. Sky, you do understand how important my current situation is. No business deal is worth your life. Your family needs you. And so do I. What, what are you looking for? Did Alcazar put anything into the vault? Who would know? The assistant manager would know. Yes. What? What are you going? Take what you want and get the hell out of my hotel, Mr. One or whoever the hell you are. 